Hi, my name is Felipe and this is SBU in situ. Uh, here, uh, Dr. Li Min Su, he was just come down from the plenaria uh, with uh, Jeffrey Kadidi and Jiha Kaud, uh, where they talk, uh, talked about uh, robots, uh, single port versus multi-port. Um, I would like you to uh, a short summary about uh, the subject and your opinion if the the single port is really uh, uh, the future um, uh, large prostates uh, cystectomy uh, what do you think about well Felipe great to see you again uh, this debate was uh, very exciting to see today and I think this is a good example of where we as urologists have continued to be innovative of looking at new ways of uh, performing our surgeries in attempts to improve our outcomes, but also minimize the morbidity for our patients. Um, I think right now where single port lies is it is still in its early stages. As Dr. Kowick had mentioned, this may be version one of many versions that come out in the future. Uh, the current instrumentation has some limitations in terms of its grip strength. Uh, the ergonomics are certainly very different than uh, what we're used to in a multi-port uh, technique. So I think that the jury is still out whether it's actually truly better than a multi-port approach for radical prostatectomy. But we have to remember that multi-port robotics went through many different revisions and a lot of critique from open surgeons. So likewise, multi-port surgeons are going to critique single port until we really show uh, by quality evidence and comparative effectiveness studies whether it's equivalent. And that really relates to not only the convalescence part of length of hospital stay and urinary continence, which was emphasized today, but more importantly, what are the oncologic outcomes short and long term? And that's to be uh, seen still. Okay, uh, this Lim Su, my professor, example, and friend. Thank you very much for your time, attention, and we hope to see you soon in Brazil. Very good, thank you. Thank you very much.